Welcome back to my channel. This will be another voiceover overview for the Suzuki Swift Sport. I am currently at Suzuki Table View and the lovely lady Sharnay actually helped me out with this car. So let's get started. This is the latest model of the Suzuki Swift Sport, a 2019 model. For some other guys it should be 2020. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, the whole car design has been changed. It's uh, more aggressive compared to before. It's The previous model version is a little bit round. This one has more sharper edges and more aggressive look, especially the front. This time, Suzuki actually stepped up their game for the interior trims for this car. This time it's more sportier, modern looking and more luxury compared to before. This is a mini sport hatch. The space is decent but don't expect to be able to carry large items unless you put down the rear seats to open up the space. But, well, you know. <laughs> Inside the space, Suzuki Swift Sport still comes with dual tub exhaust system and this time it has this sporty black carbon look like spoiler kit around the car as standard. It's paired with piano black and silver 16 inch wheels and Yokohama Advan tires with profile of 195 and 50. This time the Suzuki Swift Sport comes standard with these sporty looking headlights with DRL daytime running lights and front fog lights as standard. It now comes packed with more features than before, sportier looking cluster, 3-spoke multifunctional leather steering wheel with audio control, cruise control and hands-free phone control, comfortable sports seats with greater support around corners, front and rear electric windows and electric side mirror control, traction control with button, customizable trim pieces and keyless entry for the front only. Now with the center 4.2 inch color info display, you can choose between your motion aka g-force, your power in torque, your throttle and brake usage and position, the oil temperature and your boost gauge, your average fuel consumption and range, current fuel consumption, your driving time and your clock. It now comes with a large 7 inch touchscreen system with reverse camera and it also allows you to connect your phone using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The pedal position is decently spaced but if you have a larger foot then you might get uncomfortable. Suzuki Swift Sport is now powered by a 1.4 litre booster jet turbo engine. It's a front wheel drive pushing out 103 kilowatts of power at 5500 rpm and 230 Nm of torque between 2500 to 3500 rpm. It red lines around 6000 rpm. It might not sound powerful but remember its curb weight is only 970 kilograms. It's 90 kilograms lighter than the previous generation so it has quite a decent power to weight ratio. It now comes with either 6-speed manual or 6-speed automatic gearbox. I hope you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below.